Very quickly, I'll show you a stupidly simple way to update the cursor icon to any image you want. Second, I'll show you an even more stupidly simple way to automatically change the cursor icon based on the object it's touching. To get started, select an image to use for your cursor. This can be any image you want, but recommended is about 32 by 32 pixels. Edit the points. By default, a cursor will point to the upper left coordinate. This is where you want your origin point. However, if you're using an image like a reticle, you want the origin point to be at the center. Next, at the bottom, add a new layer for your cursor and drag it up above any other layers. In the event sheet, at the beginning of the scene, create a new object for your custom cursor. Place it at the position of cursor X and cursor Y and place it on the layer cursor layer. Next, change the position of your custom cursor and set that to cursor X and cursor Y every frame. For optimization, we don't want to update the position if the cursor is not actually moving. So go to the top left, navigate to extensions and click on the plus, search for the extension cursor movement conditions and install. Then, under Conditions, search Cursor is Moving, OK. Next, we need to hide the original cursor. However, if you place this action at the beginning of the scene, you may encounter a bug where the program does not capture the cursor at the beginning of the scene. To fix this, create a scene variable called Cursor Hidden as a Boolean, set to false. If the cursor is moving and the variable is false, then hide the cursor and set that variable value to true. You can now add any number of images you want for your cursor. But let's spice it up. Add a new object, Particles Emitter, magic. Add a new layer for particles. Add the sticker behavior to your custom cursor and your particle emitter. Then, at the beginning of the scene, after you've created your cursor, create the particles at the position Custom Cursor Center X and Center Y on the Particles layer, and stick the particles to the custom cursor. You now have spice in your life. Now for method number two, to automatically update the cursor based on the object it's hovering. These are the events you need. Literally, that's it. Go back to the main scene, go to extensions, add cursor type. Select the object you want to apply this to, add the behavior. Then all you need to do is select the cursor type for that object. For example, the crosshair. Do this for each applicable object. And just like that, you automatically have different cursors for different hovers. And that's it. Like and subscribe for more content, and whatever you're working on, I hope you have fewer bugs than I do. Thanks.